Hi everyone. So what we got here is the PCFX hooked up to at port one to a classical controller, but on port two it's hooked up to a via level shifter to a long and nano Risk Five microcontroller. So booting up the PCFX. Okay, just a standard starting. So waiting for CD-ROM. So here we got a very very small boot image of the CD-ROM, which is basically just um, a very very small client for the connection to the joystick port. It does receive signals and uh, transform them into memory. It will relocate itself into lower memory to free up everything else and it will basically launch instantly and just leave out a black screen. So we can just execute it and it's already there, it started, it's just a couple of hundred bytes large. And now if I hook up the microcontroller, it will immediately start pushing uh, a small code of mine to the PCFX. That's about 20 kilobytes in a fraction of a second. Here it is already. Starting the fractal mandel road. Some border graphics. Sorry for the interference here because of the video frame rate with the monitor. So you can move around, you can zoom in. The image is available, and since it's written in um, V80, V810 assembly directly for the CPU of the PCFX, it's pretty fast as well. Right, so we can zoom in. Okay, so usually you would have to prepare and burn a new CD for every little change you want to test on real hardware because emulation is not super reliable yet. Um, you can directly use this microcontroller connection to the PC to flash your own new code. So let's start here, prepare the microcontroller be flashed again. We can make small adjustments to the code. For example, I can just add some add some offset here. Just like that. Plus a thousand plus a thousand. Compile it, flashing it. That might need some convincing of the flash device to be in flash mode. Oh, that's just <laughs> so here we go. Flash mode. start the boot CD again just launch the small code and there we go with the offset the manual boat so the small change we made just flashed onto the microcontroller and um, we can directly start from the microcontroller and only in the end reburn our image which what we originally wanted that's it